전설이죠. 진짜 그, 말 그대로 전설이죠. 레전드. 정말 전설을 노래하다 딱 맞는 네, 게스트입니다. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? 어디에선가 한 번쯤엔 들어본 듯한 노래 눈치 채셨나요? Be a guest on Immortal Songs. 바로 바로 팝의 전설 마이클 볼튼입니다. 그리고 R&B의 요정 박정현 씨가 함께 만났는데요. 한국과 미국을 대표하는 감성 보컬의 만나 지금 시작합니다. 안녕하세요. What are your thoughts and impressions of South Korea? Very welcoming, mm -hmm. gracious mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that I just love coming back here. What do you think it is about your music that resonates so much here in Korea? They love ballads. They love yes. emotional melodies and emotional subject matter. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, that has been my strength yeah. in my songwriting. Your main reason for coming to Korea this time around, immortal songs. What did you think? I thought it was fantastic. I thought <laughs> it was, and you know, I, I didn't know what to expect, mm -hmm. especially from a show like this where my music was being performed. It was very emotional for me, mm -hmm. especially at the beginning, mm -hmm. because I realized, wow, I'm going to be sitting here while these great artists interpret right. songs that I've either written or co-written right. or made into hits right. around the world. And I found myself, my eyes welling up, mm -hmm. and, and, I, you know, and I was aware there was a camera watching me very closely. Right. And I was thinking, but I have to pay attention because I'm going to make a critique or say something. <laughs> right. Out of the performances yesterday, was there any song that you thought was an interesting interpretation or anything that kind of stood out in your memory? Or? That, that girl who did completely. <laughs> <laughs> what that, was her name? That's, that stood out. I don't recall. Short yeah. thing, right? <laughs> I think this is her right here. Yes, that's me. I did do that song. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Is there a personal <clears throat> favorite, a personal immortal song for you? There are a few. Mm. Um, I hope one of those um, that becomes an immortal song is mm -hmm. a song called Said I Loved You But I Lied. That actually was my favorite song. Really? when I was in junior high school. <laughs> I don't know how many times I tried to tape that <laughs> off the radio. <laughs> uh -huh, that's funny. Yes. How do you maintain your instrument? Any tips? Well, I can, I can tell you the what not to do. Frank Sinatra used to say, they don't bite a record for the clarinet player, kid, unless you're Benny Goodman. <laughs> yeah. But the fact is that people are driving to come to that concert right. to hear the hits they love, mm -hmm by the voice, mm -hmm. I can't waste my voice mm -hmm. because they're two cords, they're two muscles, and when they are swollen because you're talking too much, laughing too much, right. singing too much, you have to have a fairly religious kind of... Very strict. Uh, yeah, discipline, discipline on the road. And if you're going to do, say, 70 or 80 shows a year, right. you can't hang out with the band and crew after right. shows, if, especially if you have a show the next night. Right. It reminds mm -hmm. you that tomorrow people are going to be coming to mm -hmm. hear your voice, mm -hmm. not to hear how much fun you had last night. <laughs> a Michael Bolton concert in Korea is quite a big deal. What can we expect as fans? Well, you have to expect a lot of the greatest hits. but. Since I, I was here and did a few shows mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, we also want to mix it up and make it something different for the fans who were at the last shows. 